Hey everybody, what's going on? It's me, Cease Crispin, and today I'm going to be showing you how to download Tmod Loader for Terraria version 1.3.4.4. 1.3. Okay, yeah. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is you're, you're going to want to click on the link in the description that brings you to this page. It might look a little bit different depending on when you're watching this video. But right now it looks like this. So. What you're going to want to do is that you're going to want to download it, it, so, you know, it's down here, so, those are the past downloads, but here are the current ones. There's also a GOG installer, but if you don't have those versions, like if you <coughs> pirated it illegally, <coughs> you can just click on the Steam one, and it'll just start downloading. So, it just downloaded automatically for me. And now we're just looking inside of the folder. So download it here. Just open it up. And I have all this stuff. And I've got this readme file. And um let me put word wrap on. Okay, so to install you can just run a tmod loader installer.jar file to install it. So what it does is that um it, it'll just put it into your steam folder so you're gonna want to open it but if you don't have Java here's what you'll do well what you do is you open it but I can't open it because I don't have Java the thing that you're supposed to run it with that'll just do it automatically but if you're gonna do it manually it's super easy to do it manually so you just copy it and then you just go to your the directory of your game not your game save files and your documents but of your game so for me it's in my steam folder because I have the steam version so once you just get there uh, here it is and then you just simply paste it and then it'll just say copy and replace don't copy and copy but keep both files you want to do you want to check do this for all conflicts and do copy and replace and then that's what you do so then you just run terraria.exe and then what should happen is that uh, it, it might take a while but okay here it is here's the modded version you can tell that it's modded because after yeah it's it's modded Oh, by the way, if you say what happened on my characters, you can't access them in T-Mod Loader version of Terraria. For me, it seems to be lagging a little bit. I guess it's because it's recording. And, uh, you know, you can just use a mod browser. And, uh, you can... Yeah, and, and then... That's how you d download it and install it into your game. But, if you want to download a mod, let's say Thoria mod which is my favorite Terraria mod but you know you just oops scroll too fast uh, you download current version it's Dropbox and let's just download that so then once you get that downloaded you just open it up and then you just get the .tmod file and then what you do is you copy it, go to your documents, and then you want to go to my games, Terraria, mod loader, mods, paste. And uh, you'll have to do build plus reload all, and then that'll just add it into your mods, and it'll just do this every time you turn on your thing and you have to do that every time you put in a mod just so it'll activate it and it'll like be in the game and there's not going to be any conflicts and all that so yeah it'll, it'll take a while to initialize especially if it's a big mod like thorium loading mod is just going to load everything adding recipes that'll just take a quick second and you go to mods it's enabled so that's how you download and install Mod 
for Tmod Loader, and that's how you install Tmod Loader into Tutoraria. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any trouble with this, just comment. I'll see if I can help you troubleshoot. If not, well, I'm, I'm sorry. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.